this is just a short video I'm putting together here to, uh, uh, this is a, a kind of a time sensitive video. During Ryder just got through uh, uh, riding 24 hours uh, on his bike and so uh, I want to uh, respond to that video. So this is not, this is not going to be one of my better, better videos uh, unless you do your own research. So I don't expect a lot of you people to do any research because really deep down I don't expect very many of you to really care. You care about certain things, but other things you don't care, especially if it's hitting a little close to home. I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Hey, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. I had to come over here and get in the sun. I, I just got through having a banana smoothie with frozen strawberries, and it, it made me cold. We're just, oh, spring is just now starting to happen here, and that's a good thing for us. But I want to do a video about uh, during Ryder's comments. He uh, just got through doing a, uh, a ride 568 kilometers in 24 hours. This is, see, that's a great ride. And he stopped at a, uh, at a dairy to make everybody feel guilty about the cruelty that was being uh, dished out to this little calf. And I'm not in favor of cruelty to animals. I'm not in favor of <coughs> factory farming or anything else. <coughs> but I'm not a vegan and I'm not a vegetarian. But I am a hypocrite. But I just don't run around telling people what I'm hypocritical about. Now, when you do a video where you show a little calf and you're petting the little calf and pulling on those emotional heartstrings. I wonder if you're aware, which it would be hard for me to believe that you're not aware of the, uh, the environmental destruction that is being produced by the banana industry. You talked about it. I'm going to put the link down here in the video. I'll put it in right now so people can see what I'm talking about. Now you're talking about the environmental impact of, of uh, the dairy industry, but yet you fail to mention, and I've never seen a video, I don't really watch your videos that much anymore. I watch your bike videos, I watch all of those because I enjoy them. I'm a, like, I'm a, I never really was involved in uh, cycling the way uh, the way you are or the way uh, friends of mine are in Albuquerque. I rode my bike strictly for fun. But whenever you do a video where you're pulling at the heartstrings of your viewers with the little calf and you're talking about the environmental impact of the dairy industry, but yet you totally ignore what is even a more devastating impact on the environment and on people, and that is the banana industry. Basically what it boils down to is that's your hypocrisy staring at you right in the face. You know, I, I, I was a, uh, I've been in drug rehab twice, and I used to really love smoking marijuana. Smoke piles of it. And recently, <clears throat> I've had, I didn't smoke pot or do any kind of drugs at all for more than 20 years. And within the last couple of years, I've smoked some pot. Too much, because I, you know, and once an addict, always an addict. So, it had an impact on me, negative impact. But one of the things that I realized about smoking marijuana that had an impact on me is that I did not want to smoke anything that has to do with the cartels. I don't want to smoke marijuana that comes out of Mexico because that's all cartel, cartel marijuana. So I don't buy marijuana. So if someone has some and they, they offer it to me and it's like homegrown or if it's a medical marijuana, then maybe I'll, maybe I'll take a token, maybe I won't. 
But I, if, if they say it's Mexican, I wouldn't smoke it under any circumstance. Because I don't want to be smoking blood-drenched marijuana. Now you come out and do a video where you're pulling on everyone's heartstrings with the little calf and the, the evils of the dairy industry or they're screwing up the planet and this and that, but yet you totally ignore a problem. You're the, you're the banana, you're the 30 bananas a day guy and you don't, it, you will not, obviously maybe you don't know or maybe you're just not coming clean to give the, your own industry, your own product, the thing that you consume, the same sort of critical eye that you give the dairy industry. The banana industry is killing more people, more animals, and destroying the planet at a greater rate, in my personal opinion. And I'm going to be leaving links to make the argument that the dairy industry could ever think of. We're talking about deforesta deforestation, wiping out the links are down there. So next time you're having your banana smoothie, next time somebody's having a glass of milk, you can refer them to the, to the little calf in the pen. And next time somebody's having a banana smoothie, you can refer them to this information. Because hypocrisy is something that'll come back and get you. It'll come back and get me one day. But the big deal between me and a lot of other people is I don't advertise my hypocrisy. And some of the most important and the most important things in my life don't deal with my hypocrisy. But then maybe it does. We're all hypocrites in a particular way. And we all have to face the reality of that at times. So when you're out there giving one side of the story about petting the little calf, you need to think of all the humans, the animals, and the environment that's being destroyed <clears throat> by the bananas that you are so uh, enamored with. I'm Heller Rodney. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So 100 -bye. k's in. Just stop passing the dairy farm here. This is what we talk about, animal cruelty. We've got a little uh, veal calf in here. And he gets shout out to his mum and I get to produce some milk and I get the milk in the mum. The hormones go. Isn't that isn't that kind of humane? This is grass flooding, deforestation, grass fed dairy. This is grass fed dairy industry. So we fuck up the planet and we fuck up the animals. Impact on workers and the communities. Monoculture and high impact production. Here we have uh, they're uh, putting pesticides with using airplanes, contamination of water courses, massive levels of waste, soil erosion, increased risk of flooding, deforestation, destruction of habitats, destruction of soil fertility, uh, resulting in higher fertil fertilization use. I mean, it just goes on and on. It just goes on and on and on. So whenever you're uh, having your banana smoothies, think of this guy. Because it apparently uh, it's okay to, uh, to pet little calves and feel sorry for little calves, which I, I actually have. I feel sorry for little calves too. But let's... Uh, Let's have a balanced approach here, and if we can't have a balanced approach, then uh, what it is is an unbalanced approach, which is exactly, obviously, what you're promoting. I wonder how many smoothies a day this kid has. <laughs>